Hello everybody and welcome to the Kansas Speedway for the Hollywood Casino 400 in the second race of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs in our NASCAR Heat 5 2023 mod career mode. As we try to keep our win streak and extend it up to five in a row as we've won the last four straight races at Indy, Watkins, Glen, Daytona, and Darlington. We've already locked ourselves into the round of 12. Trying to keep up that positive momentum today. Uh, Kansas is tied. Dylan will have to start at the back after failing OSS. And Chastain have failed inspection. He will start at the rear as well, as will Ty Gibbs, who failed pre-race inspection. So Chastain, the first playoff driver, start at the back. That's our teammate. Not looking good for our teammate, Ross Chastain. There, of course, he'll start at the rear, charge his way through the pack. We qualify back here in the 18th position alongside the 16 of AJ Allmendinger. We to try to find our way forwards through this pack and up into contention as Joy Logano starts on the pole and looks to bring home a victory in the spot in the round of 12. As we are underway here in Kansas, we are now trying to go the outside of AJ Allmendinger for the 17th position on the racetrack and a little bit of a run. There's a big check in front of Tyler Reddick. Alex Bowman to go way to the outside lane, trying to keep that high lane momentum. We got around the outside of Tyler Reddick. Bowman leaves the door wide open. So does Kyle Busch, moves right out of the way for us. We are charging into the top 15 already here. Going through turn three and four in Kansas. Now trying to get around the outside of Kyle Busch and Michael McDowell with a three-wide move here, which works perfectly right around the outside of both of them. Get to the outside of William Byron for 12th. Now can't quite get there. A little bit of a dirty air. Costs us like about a half a second right there trying to get around the outside of Byron. Keselowski, Eric Jones kind of in this mess as well. As we're trying to really make it, if we get a big enough run, make a four-wide on the outside coming out of two. Cannot. We just give William Byron a huge push down the back stretch. We somehow get clear of the 43 without completely wrecking. He gets sideways behind us. He's going to hang on to it. We go into Byron. A little bit of contact here for 3 and 4. We were one lane below the top. Now in between Christopher Bell, Kyle Busch, Kozlowski, Stenhouse. Four wide pass to the inside. Already in the top 10 here with 18 to go in stage 1. A tremendous charge as we've already gone up eight spots on the day so far. And now looking for nine on the inside of Christopher Busher for seventh. A great start to this race for us. Charging all the way for the back. Now we're going to lose some momentum in an RFK sandwich. Look out. There goes Keselowski. We turn him. Brad Keselowski goes around. He will crash to the bottom of the racetrack. And we will head to the wall in three and four. Trying to recover after that. No caution will come out. Uh, we got squeezed. And we had to find a way out of that squeeze. And that was getting rid of Keselowski. Who's a long-time rival. Next lap or two later, we have caught back up to the 17. Chris Busher going outside of him for 8th place. It's Christopher Bell's getting around us. Trying to find a way by Kyle Larson, who has dropped back to 7th. He needs a good run if he wants to transfer to the round of 12 in these playoffs. Here comes William Byron, the 24 to the inside. Byron having a really good run right now. And we have Kyle Larson, a big push. Keep him on the outside of Byron. They're both fighting for the 8th position on the race. Three wide to the inside. What a dive to the inside of Byron. Trying to go three wide with old Willie B and Kyle Larson. We slide way up the racetrack, get into the five. Big contact being made between myself and Kyle Larson for position. We get inside the 43 yard Jones, and around goes Jones. He will spin and crash into the outside wall. He's getting hit by a whole bunch of cars. Caution will come out, and we decide to be the only car that comes down pit road. So we restart in dead last here alongside Brad Keselowski in Kansas mid stage one. But the benefit to this is that we have, of course, a little bit fresher tires at the moment, which should help us in the short term, but in the long term, we have more fuel than everyone else. And I don't think they have enough gas to make the end of the stage, but we will, so we can stay out, not have to come down pit road and win the stage and pretty much put everyone at least one or two laps down and get our track position right back, as now we're trying to find a way by Cole Custer for 30 seconds. And on the outside lane, continuing to rip the top as you would at Homestead, getting around Custer, Chase Briscoe, Ross Chastain, finding a way by SVG, Ryan Freeze. Now getting a lot of positions here on the outside. Lane on the racetrack, gaining tons of positions here at Kansas. Just working the top lane right now. So far a big success. Everything going the way we want it to. Already up to 24th now going by Eric Almarola. Dropped it to the back of AJ Allman. You're giving him a little shot into the corner. He's one of our playoff drivers. Now we're going to get around the outside of AJ Allmendinger. Take that from him and try to work by Justin Haley as well who's in 22nd that we get by Haley because it's both colleague cars here. Kevin Harvick huge damage to that four car we easily get around him to get inside the top 20 now now into the back bumper though of Austin Dillon and it causes a bit of a problem right there trying to get around him here's Michael McDowell another one of our rival playoff drivers that we have to deal with Harvick's gonna just run us out of room here almost stuff us in the fence down the back stretch because he's a rival and this is what they do so we're used to it at this point so we stay on his outside and keep working the top around the outside of McDowell and Harvick now. We get into big door slam of Mike McDowell, but we get into P20 with that move. Trying to hang on to the top 20 right now. 
in this tough battle with Cindric, Harvick, you know, and the guys up in front, like Redick and Bowman, McDowell right behind us. Seems our run here for the, this stage is kind of stalled out around uh, the 20th place area on the racetrack at the moment. So far, not really any luck coming. Now we get a bit of a run, but we get squeezed by a rival Austin Cindric as we shove Redick into the corner. He's trying to get clear of this damn two car as he is just a pain in the side right now. Not letting us get away because he keeps slamming into us, fronting our momentum. This time we finally clear that bozo and move into the top 20, get around the outside of Bowman. Now he's really starting to use our momentum. Now the outside of Tyler Reddick, three wide moves. We're trying to go around Reddick and Harvey. I mean, look at this. We're starting to make our moves, starting to get back into contention now. This is what we're talking about. This is what we want to see in the outside wall we go, though. Harvick now charging by Austin Dillon. Now looking to the inside of Harrison Burton up there. We get a big push in the back of the 45. We're sending him. We go three wide to the inside of Reddick and Harvick. We make the pass work to perfection. A little bit of contact, though, so not quite perfect. Now going to Austin Dillon. Three wide, nearly four wide down the front stretch. Thank God we threw that block on Kevin Harvick. Got that push. That could have been a massive pile up here. A couple ups there. We're still stuck around 19th, dropping some positions with Chastain and Larson. But they're pitting in front of us. Green flag pit stops have begun here in Kansas. We're going to cycle all the way back out up into 10th as we work our way down the front straight away now. After all the guys that just came down pit road, next lap, the rest of everyone that stayed out besides myself can come down pit road and we'll cycle out to be your race leader here in Kansas. Like I said, that fuel strategy worked exactly the way we wanted it to because we lead the way of four to go in stage one. Now we come through on the final lap of the stage to bring home the stage win today. This will be our third stage victory in a row. We swept the stage last week, trying to do the same today. We will get the stage one win here in Kansas. Uh, with some fuel strategy that works just like we planned it. Logano, Hamlin, Truex, Elliott, Byron, Bush, Bell, and Bush are your playoff drivers getting stage points. So that's nine of the top ten. Our championship contenders getting stage points. So a lot of guys who need some points getting their points. Trying to advance to that next round. Round 12, couple of seconds. Beginning of stage two, Denny Hamlin gives us a shot. Moves us out of the way for the lead. As we are taking the lead, of course, with that strategy. Now Denny Hamlin trying to unlap himself. Currently scored in third place. Trying to do that right now. We are chasing him down. Big run here. 16 to go. In this second stage of racing, a shorter stage compared to stage one. We're going to dive to the inside of Denny here into one and two. And he's going to go sideways and around goes the 11. And Denny Hamlin, we're going to just turn him around. And Hamlin's going to get hit by Chase Elliott. And he will go spinning into the outside wall and then back down into traffic. Lots of contact made with the 11. Gets slammed by Cole Custer there. Denny Hamlin loses all his track position. We relegate him to the back of the field. A couple laps there, of course, after that we lost the first two spots. Truex and Byron now fighting for the lead, and here comes Christopher Bell as our free fall. We're still leading this race, though, to be honest, because all these guys are lap cars. So I don't know what I'm doing wrecking Christopher Bell down the back stretch. He goes crashing hard into the outside wall, a second race in a row. A horrible crash for the 20 of Bell. He's going to get slammed by Denny Hamlin, who can't catch a break either. And those two JGR teammates are destroyed, all because of my tomfoolery. And now we decide to pit on this restart with five cars on the lead lap. Logano, Byron, Truex, myself, and Kyle Busch are your five lead lap drivers. We're currently scored in fourth. Bush is the free pass. He's only at the back of the line. Now we're trying to find a way by Joey Logano. We get stuck behind him here as he completely stacks us up here. Joey jumps all the way back. Truex now in the lead, trying to get his way in his fourth win of the year to get to the round of 12. Now we drop behind Logano and Byron as that restart is a complete disaster because we got stuck behind the back of the 22 because we're indecisive about what lane to go to. Chase Elliott just got loose trying to punt us out of the way back there. Now we're trying to hang on for dear life back here to these positions. And this track position stay close with the top three up ahead of us here. Our teammate Chastain, the top car, trying to unlap himself at the moment, fighting for everything he's got. Currently scored in six. Now we go to the inside of Byron and Chastain, trying to get into third place here on William. We get all the way to the inside of his quarter panel, but we just cannot make it work. We just don't have the pace that we need to make these passes. So we'll settle back in in the fourth spot and just try to hang on for the rest of the stage. Well, that's though, Logano, Truex fighting for the lead. William Byron, all these, all his playoff drivers, all at the front of the field. One, someone else besides myself, most likely going to find their way into the round of 12 today. Now, Chastain gives us a push a couple laps later. We're battling with Chase Elliott, who's starting to unlap himself. That's Chastain. Chastain gives us too big of a shot. Puts us to the outside wall. Big contact down to Elliott, but to Chastain. Lots of contact being made. We all hang on to it. But our teammate right there just shoved us up into the feds. And I'm not too appreciative that he didn't lift there and just sent us right out of the way. So, you know, we repay the favor here. We just sent it in and don't give Chastain any regard. And right up into the wall he goes. So that's some track house beef right now. Putting him in the wall, trying to throw heaters on Keselowski to keep him behind us. Contact with him and Chastain, who really hasn't earned our respect after that last move there, putting the wall. But now we're even because we used him up on the last corner. So I think we're even. Now we can get back to just doing normal racing. 
So let's get this person in the wall again. Now big shove down the front stretch. Chastain's going to push us, but we're going to maintain about four spots. Kyle Busch is a ways behind us. A couple laps later, we're back to like 12th on the racetrack. And Citrix come down pit road. A couple guys coming in for their green flag pit stops here at the end of the stage. We'll cycle back out to be the race leader here with two to go on the stage. And now we come through to the last lap of stage two in the back of the 20 of Bell and the 23 of Bubble Wallace. They're out of gas. They're all out of gas in front of us. They have ran out of fuel. And we're going to be laughing. All these guys flying by the outside of Blaney and Chastain. The caution will come out, ending stage two prematurely. We get the stage win and sweep the stages today here at Kansas. Bush, Elliott, Chastain, Blaney, Bubble Wallace, Bell, Chastain get stage points as well. And now we move on to the final stage of racing. We are in the lead once again with our strategy, trying to hold off Chase Elliott and Ross Chastain, doing whatever I can to just maintain this lead. We have not had the best car, that's for sure. We've had a good enough car to try to fight for the lead. Chase Elliott is squeezing us. A lot of contact being made there between myself and the nine. Chastain now gives us a shove, and he's going to shove us all the way up into the side of Chase Elliott, who gets loose. The nine saves it, and we clear for the lead once again, narrowly holding off Chase Elliott for now for the lead with just... 22 laps to go. Now down the back stretch the next lap. Here comes Chase Elliott. Another big push off into three and four this time. He gets in the back of us. I'm trying to hold it, not go up in the outside wall. He does give us the boot. And here comes Chase Elliott looking to win his second race of the season and clinch his spot in the round of 12 in the playoffs. We side draft him down the entire front stretch. Get a push from Chastain. 21 laps to go. We get some more to the outside of Chase, but Chastain ditches us. He goes to the inside. And now we drop down to third. Elliott clear for the lead. Chastain clear for second. And we have dropped back now to third. And we don't have the pace to hang with him. A couple laps later, we're trying to hang on to fourth now. As Kyle Busch has gotten around us. Joy Logano and Truex are pressuring us. We have the lap car of Busher, who's squeezing us a lot down here on the inside lane. A lot of contact being made. So we shove him all the way up into the outside wall here on exit. A two big hit. And we block Joy Logano, who goes around. There goes Logano, head on into the outside wall. He completely wipes out to the inside lane. And Joy Logano's hopes and dreams ruined here in Kansas. And all of a sudden, he's in jeopardy of possibly not advancing to the round of 12 in the playoffs. Now we're fighting Busher again. Truex has gotten around us. Here comes Bubba Wallace trying to get to the time for the final green flag pit stop of this race here in Kansas. We are three wide with Bubba and Busher right now in a squeeze with just 13 to go. Busher hits us in the bubble walls. We're going to go sideways. We're going to spin into the outside wall. We crash here in Kansas all the way back to eighth place. We get hit by Eric Jones. And then we come down the track to get hit by someone else, which finally brings out the caution flag. And we'll pit and restart in ninth here in Kansas after that disastrous turn of events where we crash from fourth place. And it's nine to go here. Who is it going to be in victory lane? Right now our teammate, Ross Chastain, looks to get the win and transfer the round to 12. That's what we want. We want the track house, both guys, to get in with wins here. Get Chastain some more playoff points that round to 12. Trying to get us both in is the goal right now. But now we're getting squeezed by Christopher Bell. I saw him like, okay, I'm just done with his shit. So I send Christopher Bell all the way down the inside, being way too here. So we go right up the track. Get a hard hit for myself with the 20. And poor Harrison Burton gets collected, bringing out the caution. So now we'll pit again. Drop down to 17th. As the guys took the wave around to get back on the lead lap, as we're pretty much all on equal tires here. So we have to find our way forwards from 17th in the six laps here in Kansas. As Chastain still leading, fighting Chase Elliott and Martin Truex for that win. And a spot in the round of 12. All right, now back here we're fighting with BJ McLeod and Eric Almirola. Just trying to maintain some positions here, gain some spots here. Try to finish the race in the top 10 and keep our top 10 streak alive for I believe it would be 13 races in a row with a top 10 and that would be 27 out of 28 races. We'd be in the top 10 if we can get up there. Currently we're scored in 11th with five laps to go. It's easy to get around Chandler Smith. Now four to go. We're trying to get around the outside of the 62 of Austin Hill to get into that top 10. Him and Zane Smith playing some strategy and they found themselves on a great spot here as Chase Elliott has now taken the lead and is looking to win his way into the next round of the playoffs and he's definitely going to be a problem as Elliott was second in the regular season standings to myself and he's been very strong all season long. We're going to continue that today to find himself a spot in the championship four. He's going to the inside of Zane Smith to go for the ninth position on the racetrack which we will temporarily take for the moment with three laps to go. We get around Zane Smith into turn one and two. We just got to clear him here and we can take the spot. Elliott looks like he's driving away from the pack to bring home the victory. We do clear Zane Smith for ninth here coming to the end of this race. Now we move on to the white flag. Final laps are cut on bank here in Kansas. Zane Smith has gone back around us. We've dropped down to 10th. It is almost a foregone conclusion that Chase Elliott is going to win this race and find himself into the round of 12 as we have to now hold off Austin Hill 
and the hungry pack behind him trying to get around us here. So we go into three and four for the final time here at Kansas. Denny Hamlin closing in. He's got a big run. Chase Elliott wins at Kansas. He'll advance to the round of 12. And we throw a huge block on Hamlin in the wall hard to end the race. We come home in 10th with a top 10 finish, extending that streak. And as you look at your final race results, Chase Elliott has indeed won the Hollywood Casino 400 at Kansas. He will advance to the round of 12 with win number two on the season. Ross Chastain, our teammate, comes home second. A great start to the playoffs for him. Same for Truex in third, Harvick in fourth, and William Byron in fifth. Then Kyle Busch is sixth, Ryan Blaney seventh, and Chris Buescher eighth. So playoff drivers nine of the top ten. And Zane Smith comes home ninth. Shout out to him being the best non-playoff driver today. Then Austin Hill, a great 11th place run. Same thing for Chandler Smith, BJ McLeod, and Cole Custer, all inside the top 20 on the lead lap. Their next playoff contender in that group would be Christopher Bell in 15th and Bubba Wallace in 19th. Have an okay runs and Joy Logano 24th, what could have been for him. Denny Hamlin down in 26th, he had a tough day, mainly because of myself. And then Allmendinger and Larson 29th and 30th, now they need to be running. Same for McDowell all the way in 31st. Rough day for those guys. Cindric and Bowman DNF out of the race in 39th and 40th. Now I'm gonna head back to see the playoff grid here. See how the playoff grid heads into the cutoff race at the Bristol Motor Speedway. How's he gonna look? Who's gonna be below the cut line? Who's gonna be above the cut line right now? Myself, Elliot have both advanced with wins. Kevin Harvick, Martin Truex, Ross Chastain, Christopher Bell, and William Byron. All more than 30 above. Basically, just don't crash out. You're guaranteed to advance. Logano, Bush, Busher, just don't make any mistakes. Just have a top 20 run. They should advance. Let's find Hamlin. Sits plus 17 points above the cut line in 11th. He's got to get, get some stage points. And at the bubble is Bubble Wallace at just seven points above Kyle Larson. One of the favorites coming in out by seven. Cannot afford to have a bad race. He needs to gain points big time. He's to have a good run at Bristol to advance. Blaney out by nine. So does he. And AJ Allmending out by 17. And Michael McDowell out by 26. They really need a lot of help to advance. McDowell will probably have to win. Allmendinger, he can point his way in, but he needs some help to do it. So that is your playoff grid heading into Bristol, which will be the cutoff of the round of 16. Now, fast stop of the race, we'll go to Joy Legato with a 31-35. We led the most laps somehow, leading 21 laps in a weird race in Kansas. And then the on-the-move driver was Ross Chastain, our teammate, up from 38th to 2nd. Great job for him. Exactly what he needed to do to put himself in a spot to advance. And then Bowman, minus 25. Tough break today. And until next episode, I hope you all have a good one.